A couple of months ago I made a video in which I tested some old caving ropes for breaking strength and compared them to the strength of new ropes. At that time I also had the idea of testing ropes exposed to white nose syndrome decontamination conditions to see if those conditions had any adverse effect on the strength of ropes. Older decon conditions include submersion in quaternary mean solutions for 10 minutes or submersion in bleach solutions for 10 minutes. The latest preferred decon method includes submersion in hot water at 55 degrees Celsius or hotter for 20 minutes or more. There's a good study that was published in January 2017 by the USDA Forest Service that subjects 10 to 11 millimeter ropes to 55C hot water decon conditions followed by drying. They repeated the decon process 30 times for each rope sample before testing multiple samples for breaking strength using the Cordage Institute method 1801. They concluded that subjecting ropes to these conditions had minimal effect on their strength. In my testing, I looked at various standard decon conditions, including a Lysol solution, a bleach solution, and a 55 Celsius hot water bath, and rather than subject the ropes to these conditions for the recommended 10 or 20 minutes and repeat the cycle, which is a lot of work, I instead decided to just subject the rope to these conditions for a prolonged period of time. I chose 7 days, which is 168 hours, or approximately 1,000 times the recommended minimum exposure time for quat and bleach solutions and 500 times the minimum required exposure to 55 Celsius hot water. As a control, I also subjected ropes to ambient temperature water, which is about 20 Celsius, for seven days. I also took some rope samples and exposed them to even more extreme conditions. I tested ropes exposed to 95 Celsius water for seven days, which is about as hot as you can get water. I also exposed ropes to dry heat at 200 Celsius for 24 hours, which is just a little below the melting point of nylon. The results are shown here, and they reflect the same results seen in the Forest Service report regarding exposure to hot water. In fact, none of the approved decon methods, including quats, bleach, or hot water, had any significant effect on the strength. The hot water caused the dye in the red tracer to stain the rest of the rope pink, but it didn't change the strength. Even exposure to water near the boiling point had no significant effect. The rope exposed to high dry heat at 200 Celsius was very interesting. It turned dark brown from oxidation, and it even made crunching noises when tied into a knot, but it only lost 6% of its strength. The only rope that had a statistically significant reduction in strength was the rope that was tested while wet. This had a 9% reduction in strength relative to an unconditioned rope, which is consistent with the 5-15% to reduction that is commonly reported in literature. As with my other rope strength testing video, I'll leave it to you to draw your own conclusions and determine how best to use this data. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already to learn about other videos on the topic of caving.